This is a Pentium 4 computer running Lin uh, Windows XP. I will install Linrod here from source code, the latest version on the repository. To do that, a uh, subversion is needed. Subversion dot apach. Subversion. Here yeah. and uh, binary packages for Windows. This one, the 32 bit client server and binnings, and download the installer. And the computer is protected, so I have to tell it to get the file. And now I have to wait a couple of seconds again, because they want me to read the commercials. And this is an installer. I don't have to store it. I just run it. We will also need a package to unzip zip files and 7-zip is a candidate for that, so no, not learn. I want to download it, download the installer for 7-zip and again protected, so get the file. And the computer is protected. Get the file. And this is also an installer, and I just run it. So we have now two uh, installers being downloaded in, at the same time. And the 7-zip is a much smaller package. Run the installer. and install it in whatever standard fashion it wants. Finish. And let's see about this. This is almost finished also. So uh, Run the installer. Uh, now I need to get the source code for Linrad. And to do that, the easiest way, I go to my homepage, sm5bsz.com. And uh, install sm5 psz.com this is my page go to leanrod and to the uh, development page sorry the linear development page here and near the uh, 03.50 version there is the command to download from the uh, repository this copy and then we need the uh, uh, what is it called? This one, the command window. Let's go to the root. 
too long. And here I paste the command for subversion, which will now get the Linrad source code. from uh... so at this point we have the uh, source code being installed there is one more thing uh, go back to the uh, SMF to the Linrad home page and for installation under Windows. Here you can see you may also decide to compile. This is the section we have. Uh, for Port Audio, it's a good idea to have Port Audio with Linrod. Uh, the latest version, this one, uh, I save it to uh, uh, save and now the subversion created a directory linrod so I put it in the linrod directory save And it's down there and then we need the compiler to compile from source and it's this file save it and I want to save it directly on the root here save And uh, it, this is a fairly big package, so it takes a little time. So I will cut the video here and come back when it is nearly finished. So now we have the compiler. Um, so that's all, I think. Here we have now the compiler as a zip file. To unpack the compiler, we used 7-zip, downloaded recently. Here. And uh, this min gw5 at 6 by 1-6. Unpack and I want to unpack it into the root directory like that. So it's creating now a directory MINGW with everything needed in it. And we have in the Linrad directory the uh, DLL file for uh, Port Audio in a zip format. So let's unpack that also. Unpack and into the Linrad subdirectory. So we got it here. And then descend into the Lindra directory. And run configure. So, and then make. And now Lindra starts compiling. It takes some time, so I will cut the section out of this. So now compilation is complete. We just have to create an icon for Linrad. 
not really necessary because it could be run from the terminal window, of course. Local linrod and uh, find the executable. Lean rod here. Uh, send to desktop. That's it. We can close this one. And here is Linrod. Click on it. So, and now here is Linrod up and running. Setup will be another video.